All were Kadayan left from the shrine of Kol Akula Mutathai to Ile Apiratha's mansion. On the way, the sights he saw in the streets of Old Era gave him great enthusiasm. How much do these people celebrate Kanan's birthday? There is no doubt that Vyashnavism will survive and spread in this Chola country. There are many reasons for the growing influence of Saivism here. For hundreds of years, Chola kings have been building new temples all over the country. Devara songs sung by the trio are being propagated through temples. Chariot festivals are well organized in temples. Despite all this, Tirumal's pride did not diminish. Kanan, the ninth perfect incarnation of Vishnumurthy, has captured the hearts of people. The leelas performed by M. Piriman in Gokulam, Vrindavan, and North Madurai have left their hearts. Mama! How many Bhagavata factions! How many street plays! What a variety of guises! Yes, there were more now than we had seen before. Crowds and cheers of spectators surrounding the teams were also high. New drama troops kept coming from the villages around Palayara. Vasudeva, Devaki, Krishna, Balarama, and Kamsa dressed up in a drama troupe. As there was a lot of singing, shouting, and talking of the disguised people in this party, all were Kadian stopped for a while and observed. At that time Krishna and Kamsa were having a discussion. Krishna disguised as a small child. If he told him, he would mention Kamsan's crimes and say, Come, fight with me. He called. Kamsa said in a loud thundering voice, Oh! Krishna! All your delusions will no longer work for me. I am going to kill you here. I am going to kill your brother Balarama. I am also going to kill your father Vasudeva. I am going to kill that valiant Vaishnava too. Having said that, all the people standing around started laughing at our antics. Even those disguised as Krishna and Balarama looked at him. Many people in the crowd came close to him and surrounded him and started laughing and making fun of him saying kik kik. Thirumalai Nambai became very angry. He twirled the stick in his hand and thought to see the people in the crowd. Mainly, he wanted to put a pot on the head of that Kamsan. But it was no use hitting Kamsan on the head. Because Kamsa Vedakara had a false head made of wood, with a grotesque mustache and fangs, and painted with paint to hide his own face. On the whole, Tirumala decided that it was not good to use a stick in such a large crowd and slipped away from the place. All Workadian thought that Kamsan's voice, even though he shouted in a loud voice, was heard somewhere. He walked along the street wondering where the voice had come from. There was a sudden change in the excitement of the people. The lack of enthusiasm of the people gradually became apparent. What is this? Why this sudden change? Why is the crowd dispersing so quickly? The sounds of instruments and dance songs stopped. Instead, people stand aside on the side of the road in small groups and talk about what secrets? Why are they walking so fast after talking? Why do house doors slam? Here is the reason. The beat of drums and the chants of holding each other were the reason why even Kundave Prati had shivers in his body. This drum beat has ruined the joy of the people who had gathered for the festival celebration. Others stared at those who were going alone. They looked suspiciously at all the unknown faces. Some even looked at all Alwarkadian with such a suspicious look and hurriedly went up. Tirumala guessed the reason for this. Not only that. He also knew by guess what people were talking about in small groups on the side of the road. It was confirmed by a few words that fell into the ear. Those people talked about the tyrannical rule of the Palyavatarayas. It is natural that the old town Mandar and the surrounding villagers are angry with the cultivators. Didn't they take the emperor who was praised by the poets to Tanjavur from Old Aray? First of all, isn't the speciality of the Old Aray diminishing day by day? If only the emperor is in this city today on this Krishna Jayanti festival, how much more will it be? Isn't it that all the drama troops, who are making up costumes related to the story of Kanan, will leave the streets of the city and gather in the courtyard of the emperor's palace? Does not the emperor reward actors, potters, potters, singers, and poets? The people would have gathered to say that the Chola country had come to Padayara. 
wouldn't the business have been a hundred times more than this? At night, when Venugopala Swami leaves the Nandipura Vinagarak temple and walks the streets, how many drums, drums, dances, cymbal games, and knife fights will be heard? All that has been lost due to these scoundrels. Apart from this, there was another greatness in the hearts of the people of Paliere. Prince Arulmas Hivarma, who was an eye-to-eye -eye for them, crossed the sea and came to fight in the island of Sri Lanka. Ten thousand soldiers from all the four regiments of Palayere have gone to Ilan Nadu under the leadership of Prince. They are coming to fight to establish the honour and heroism of Tamil Nadu in the country full of forests and mountains. Kajumbalar Ilongo invaded that Ila country and stood before the battlefield, did you not die with work on your chest? Didn't all the remaining Chola warriors die fighting to the end? In order to appease the spirits of those who died, Prince Arulmas Hithdavar has gone to restore the victory of the tiger flag in that island of Elam. Do these traitors refuse to send food, clothing, money and weapons to our soldiers who are fighting under his leadership? What injustice is this? Is this also the case? Are the granaries in Tanjavur fort filled with plenty of paddy? What is all that for? Why Panandan, which has been included in the palace treasures for a hundred years? At this time, what is the useless grain and grain for our soldiers? What are these vandals going to do with everything? Are they going to take them with them to hell when they die? Do these traitors refuse to send food, clothing, money and weapons to our soldiers who are fighting under his leadership? What injustice is this? Is this also the case? Are the granaries in Tanjavur fort filled with plenty of paddy? What is all that for? Why Panandan, which has been included in the palace treasures for a hundred years? At this time, what is the useless grain and grain for our soldiers? What are these vandals going to do with everything? Are they going to take them with them to hell when they die? Do these traitors refuse to send food, clothing, money and weapons to our soldiers who are fighting under his leadership? What injustice is this? Is this also the case? Are the granaries in Tanjavur fort filled with plenty of paddy? What is all that for? Why Panandan, which has been included in the palace treasures for a hundred years? At this time, what is the useless grain and grain for our soldiers? What are these vandals going to do with everything? Are they going to take them with them to hell when they die? Thirumalai Nambai knew that the people of the Chola country had been grumbling about this for some time. It is natural for the people of Old Ere to be very angry about this matter. Are not the children and cousins of the ten thousand soldiers who went to the battlefield of East India still living in this city? Therefore, the people of Pavere did not like the fact that, on the orders of the pundits, the people of Pavere were shouting about the one who had committed a crime. It became a reason for them to talk about their grievances against the pundits. Otanam Otanam. From which country is one going to come here? The tiger flag is flying from Kumari Node to Vedapena. Who is the foreign king so strong as to send one? If there is anyone who is not liked by these scoundrels, they will accuse him of being one of them and finish the job. Or they will be thrown in the dungeon. But why bother? Power is in their hands. Whatever is fair or unfair, they will do it. If you are given the title of Atran, you don't even need to ask the village panchayats, right? All Alwarkadayan knew through his sense of hearing and guesswork what the people of Old Aray thought in their minds, murmured with their mouths and talked to each other in soft voices. Thus he reached the house of Kundave Devi, wondering where the discontent simmering in the minds of the people was going to end. Ilya Prati is always fond of talking to Alwarkadayan about world affairs. He travels all over the country and tells about the happenings. The princess was eager to know all that. Ilya Prati also likes to listen to Alvar songs that he finds and sings. Therefore, whenever Thirumala comes, she will welcome it with enthusiasm. She would ask him about the benefits of yoga with a smile on her face. But today Alwarkadayan saw a slight change in the princess's expression and speech. A facial expression showing that the mind is occupied with something, an unnatural excitement in speech, a bit confusing. Tirumala. What's so special? Where did you come from? Kundave asked. 
it's nothing special, mother. As usual, I came thinking that you asked me to come to inquire about world affairs. I'm going to apologize. No, no. Stay away. I asked you to come. Mother. I forgot to tell you. I was in the presence of the big brat a while ago. They asked me to come because they had something important to tell them. Well, I mean to go too. Where did you go on this journey? Tell me. I went from South Kumari to North Veng Adam. What do people talk about when they go places? They are talking about the glory of the Chola clan king. They are talking that in some time, the Chola Empire will spread as far north as the Gunga River and as far as Himajari. After. They also speak in praise of the heroic deeds of the Palyavetarayas. The reason why the Chola Empire reached such a noble position is because of the petty kings of Palyavur. Enough, what else are they saying? They speak fondly of both their brothers. The love and support of the subjects, especially for Prince Arulmas Hivarma, cannot be overstated. No surprise there. Any more talk? They are talking about why the Chola Emperor's concubine is not yet married. Many people even asked me. What did you reply? I told you that a prince worthy of marrying our youngest daughter has not yet been born on this earth. It is beautiful. Such a one must be born from now on. I will be an old woman before he is born and of marriageable age. Let it be my affair, Tirumalai. Is there anything else to talk about? Why not? Many people are surprised that Devar, who was saying that he was going to become a yogi of Shiva, suddenly got married. Your beautiful sister, thought she was going to become a pious Churomani like Andal, how is she now? What's wrong with her, mother? She's ruling as a dictator in the palace of the great corrupter. Only in the palace of the Palavatarayar? I heard that she is the dictator of this Chola kingdom. Still some are talking, mother. But leave her alone. Why is she talking on this auspicious day? As they mentioned the name Andal, I remember one thing. I had been to Saivaliputter. I knew some of the songs of Butter Pran Vishnu Siddha. Listen to this, mother. Kanan was born. Today, our old Aray city is as happy as Ayarbadai, mother. It's exciting, all right, but just ahead there's another kind of drum, what is that Tirumala? All Workadian was waiting for this question. Someone's gone. He's escaped. They'll reward his captors. What did I see about all that, mother? You don't know anything? You don't even have a clue who it might be? I have a doubt in my mind but it is dangerous to talk about it. When I was walking on the street, some people even stared at me. What if someone caught me and put me in the dungeon? They must have grown horns on their heads to catch you. Tell me if you can tell me what's on your mind. You don't think I'll betray you. Krishna. Krishna. Nothing like that. I saw a heroic youth in Viranarayanapuram. He said he was going to Tanjavur. He didn't say why. He asked me many questions. Kuntave asked excitedly, how was he? She said. He looked like he was born in a big clan. His face was tired. It was obvious that he was motivated and suffering. What did he ask you? He asked about the emperor's physical condition. He asked about the next successor. He asked about the prince who had gone to Sri Lanka. Later, I learned that he asked the astrologer the same questions. Aha! Has he come to the house of the infant astrologer? Now I remember. When they were at the astrologer's house, he sneaked in. Fortunately, he didn't recognize them. What I thought was right. What were you thinking mother? I thought there might be some danger to that rascal boy soon. You're right. I suspect he's the one. It seems the Avengers have put out a reward for his capture. Tirumala. Can you do me a favor? Command, mother. If you ever see that boy. Let's catch it and get a prize. No, no. Bring him to me. He has something important for me. 
All Wurkadians stood staring at Kundavabe Prati for a while as if in wonder. And then, that won't be necessary, mother. I won't have to come and find him. He will find himself. He said. 